Hello, my name is Katherine Crowley. I'm a distinguished senior lecturer at Teachers College Columbia University in the program of Speech Language Pathology. This is one in a series of video tutorials on strategies to help students with intellectual disabilities, autism, and various communication disabilities. I am Mary Osei. I'm the head mistress of a boom unit for special needs children in Cape Coast, Ghana. As part of the transition to work program for persons with intellectual disabilities, we have developed vocational skills to train these children to be able to acquire some skills for independent living. Therefore, sewing of fabric bags has been the major vocational skills that we are doing in the school. There are some materials and equipment that we may need. Sewing machine, either the hand machine or the electric machine. Our iron cutting table, ironing table, our scissors. Now, the materials. We need your fabric. In a boom school, we use kentic material, wooden, batik tie and dye material, the viva materials. We also need your foam, your lining, your zip, and Velcro. We are going to see how to develop the skills. First of all, we go to buying the fabric. When we want to buy the fabric, we take two or three children to the market. When we come back, we measure the fabric and marking it. So you see this pattern. One of the bags we cut like this. Another style is like this. After that, we do cutting the fabric. We cut along the specimen and the marked area to get our style of the bag. Ironing the fabric is the next step in the box process. We do the ironing in order for the fabric to be straight and even. Joining and sewing. We first pin it so that we can get it straight for the children to be able to sew along the line. They are guided by the teachers to be able to join the fabric and then sew it accurately. When we trace the pattern, then we get something like this. This is another style. This is another style of the pattern. The next stage is tagging and labeling. This is what we do so that Everybody that sees the bag and wants to buy the bag will know who produces the bag and where the bag is coming from. And it is written on it, made by Memuna Abdullah, guided by Beatrice Ennis. The bag has been sewn by the child with a support of the teacher. Now the labeling. You see the bag inside the bag. The labeling is there. It's a boom school for special needs, Cape Coast, Ghana. So everybody will know where the bag is coming from. Now our final stage is the pricing and selling of the bags. We price it according to the materials that we use to produce the fabric bags. We have uh, some materials more expensive than others. And some of the bags, we use the foam, the Velcro, the zip to make it. So when we calculate the amount used to do it, that is how we price it and sell it. We sell the bags at the beach resorts and then at the school. Now, the sale of the bags, the money that we get 
we give percentage to the children and the part of this money has been used for utilities, water, electricity and the repairs of the machines. I just hope that uh, everybody who sees this can think about how they might create something like this for their own students. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.